Good job, Mercy. What do you think of that? Got her in training. She's an in. Oh, I have officially done it. I've ordered a cold case radiator and I did a considered a 24 inch radiator. It's got two 12 inch fans on it. It's gonna be wired in with a painless wiring setup for a 185 turn on, 170 turn off. Mercy's probably wondering why I'm talking to the camera. Daddy's talking to the camera, Mercy, so we can make some YouTube videos. But the radiator I have in here now fits within this factory little setup right here. It's got a little cushion, it's a tab, and these unbolt. Now the big block cars come with this, small block cars will have a, the same radiator width and they utilize this little bracket right here. But uh, I did get a big block radiator, the cold case, like I said, I believe it's part number FOM588AK. The uh, AK to the best of my knowledge stands for the having the automatic transmit and fit, transmission fittings on it. So it has a cooler built in. I don't know what the keg is for. I think it's automatic cooling with a keg. I don't know. But um, it's going to go in here nicely. A couple things to prep for this. I'm going to pull out my pickle jar. Pull out my radiator. It's just beat to pieces. I'm going to straighten this factory mount back out to 90 right here. Remove this. Pull the radiator get my hoses undone. I'm also gonna find some actual compression clamps, not these screw-on clamps, because these do not expand and contract with heat and cooling. So I really wanna do some compression clamps. Uh, I didn't on this just because I got lazy, to be honest with you. But the fan's coming out. This bracket spacer, I believe that's a two inch, is coming out. That might be a three inch. Uh, ordered new hardware to snug up here on the pulley because the new one has a six and a half inch clearance from back here. And I believe I have seven inches from here, not this lip, but the lower lip all the way over to about here. So that half inch I believe is gonna take up the, where the bolts come out and give me just a little wiggle room right here. So that's what we have going on. I'm gonna put put this video on a time lapse if I can mount this camera. Hang on, Mercy. And we're gonna get this radiator pulled out. Second thing, hold on, be patient. We have to learn patience. I'm gonna pull the uh, thermostat housing. We're gonna get it open. I have an Edelbrock thermostat. I believe it's 180, let's see. Take you on a toolbox tour. What'd you need, Mercy? You want to get dirty? You can get your toys dirty. Okay, you can get dirty. Don't get in that old draw pile, pile. Okay, go ahead. So here's my 180 degree thermostat. 8604 fits in here nicely, supposedly. I'm gonna install that. In the process of all this, I'm gonna let this water drain. I ran some K-Seal in here, unfortunately, and that's what all this debris is. It looks like a copper fine dust that squirted out of these holes. You can see that's actually what the K-Seal did. It, uh, it sealed up a lot of this damage. So, and a hammer. You hadn't seen that, it's in a recent video. Can't make this stuff up. So I'm gonna go through there, pull this out. I have to separate this transmission cooler. Um, I'm just gonna take it out, put it to the side, and try not to disconnect the fluid yet on it because I've got some new fluid in the transmission. I don't wanna dump it all out. But I, the radiator is just pure water right now with K-Seal. So I'm gonna get it out. And the shop's a little dusty, so I'm gonna pull a water hose in here. We're not even gonna back the car out. And I'm just gonna sit here and flush this motor over and over and over. And hope to God, I'm going to try to crank it throughout a little bit, get that water pump moving. And uh, I'm just going to leave that water hose just right in the top, flowing in. 
and we're gonna let it just pump out and kick out as much of that case seal as possible. And if I need to run a solvent in here, I will. I just did a full rebuild on this motor. And it looks like the you know sleeper in my opinion, and uh, which I'm kind of not too upset about all this dirty debris. I'm gonna clean it up, but it really makes this match. Now check this out. What, Mercy? If you need help, you need to say, Daddy, can you please help me? Daddy, help me. All right, hop up. That's a rolly chair, Mercy. Is a chair? Yep. All right, there you go. Mercy has her oil dry. You want me to dump it? Oh, got a police car. Volkswagen, a GT40. What's this one called? A BMW car. So Mercy's gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. And I'll try to get some content in the way of it. What I wanted to show you though, dang sweat bee. This is K Seal. It's basically splattered out and the fan threw it everywhere. It's sort of like a fine particulate of copper. I will say this over and over and over. Um, I'm not sponsored. Everybody knows that. I only got like 200 subscribers. 200 so. I used that case seal in a pinch. It was a last minute ditch effort to just get this car home. I had 50 something miles. And I did not want a record from Cobb County, you know, North Atlanta hooking this car up. And I just didn't want the headache. And I figured the time and effort and the money I could put in case seal would be a fraction of a record bill. So that's what's happening there, and that's why we're going through this headache. And uh, I'm just going to have to go through it. I really hate that it happened, but it did. So let's get to work on this, and I'll keep you in the loop. And I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to try to set up maybe some clamps, a vice grip, and we're going to get a time lapse going. There might be some butt crack. I, I don't know how to blur on videos. I don't have the editing software. So if that happens, just close your eyes. So, uh, yeah, me and Mercy are going to do some work on the car and her little dirt pile. See what I got going on. I gotta cut these. It's always something. to keep this cooler just so I'm not being useful but, or useless. Daddy's talking to the camera, Mercy. Ah. What's silly is I'm not even going to use this on the car, but it might be nice for a, maybe an oil cooler or power steering. Maybe I can just stick it on the shelf and get it for another vehicle down the road. 
I don't have the budget for another vehicle right now, but maybe that trains cooler will be good for one. All right, we're gonna pluck her out of here. One problem I had with this radiator. Hold on, Mercy, Daddy's recording a video. And look what Mercy's doing. Having fun, aren't you? <coughs> Ooh, look at those disc brakes. And that's why you like a patina paint job, because Mer Mercy can scratch it and it don't bother it. All right, so this radiator was purchased off of, I believe Amazon or the Jungle website. I still don't know if I can say Amazon on here. I'm learning all of the YouTube things. Um, this was just a cheap, you know, China little knockoff. But it, the one downfall, it does not have a pet caught, no type of drain at all. So you literally have to pull your, your main radiator lines just to get the drain off, which is crazy to me. But there's your K-Seal. Been a pretty good radiator. Kept the car cool. I'm not gonna have any complaints on it. I just, it was my poor design of that bracket. I was being lazy trying to use the factory bracket that didn't fit this. And uh, as you can tell what happened, it got sucked in, the fan hit, started knocking out all this, and then just went. This is where I bashed with a hammer. And uh, another complaint I had was whenever I ordered this, see how that's pretty much almost straight. This was supposed to be straight. And it showed up at this awkward angle. And it's an awkward one. But that really put my hose in a bad kink. It wasn't bad enough that you know, I wasn't going to drive it. It's good enough for the, you know, the girls we date. But yeah, and that wasn't his line. People have been saying that line for a long time, if anybody's wondered. I'm a big fan of Derek, I really am. But uh, a lot of people think that some of the sayings were just kind of his. There's, there's a lot of people saying sayings like that. I love watching this channel too. It really inspired me to do mine, I'll be honest with you. So this is what we got going on. I'm going to get this out of here. And we're going to start pulling this off. I got to cut these radiator mounts out. Get them out. And then uh, I'm going to come in here and strip these liners. Pull them out. Unbolt the hardware for the metal bracket itself. I'm going to try to get in here and clean up the perimeter of this whole cavity for the new radiator. Because I want this thing to be snug like a bug in a dirty shop rug all right there we go keep on trucking on all right come over here we gotta crank it up
My best piece of advice is while having your car running and your kids out here is to get a tire chalk. I have one, some, I have a couple of them. I don't know where I put it. I gotta look through this. Right there. These older cars are notorious for just being able to slip out of park. All right, so she's running, got her flushing, kind of sealing it off. Trying to get all that case seal out. And that's already getting very hot. temperature 70 psi what mercy you done with your popsicle i've got two right here i had to move the shop trash can mercy all right you want to play with your toys we're gonna let this thing sit here and get hot what you can have all of that. That's toy money, Mercy. Pick it up. You can buy new toys with it. Like I was saying, I'm going to let this sit here and run. Try to get as much of this case seal out as I possibly can. And while this is going on, I may hook up a second hose and just try to clean some of this engine bay. Check these tailpipes for excessive moisture. Oh, nice. You got a big zit on the arm, too. That's cool. Pick the idle up from about 450 RPM, which is considerably low. So it's pushing about, just by sound, I think it's pushing about 600. Oh, it's about 750. I know you couldn't see that too well, the sun's out. But I've got the idle adjusted right here, just so I can keep the water flowing pretty good. I want that pump moving. what we're doing here was we're just trying to bake off anything that was in there we're getting a good constant clean flow that is hot and we got ice cold coming in I got a little extra dripping on my trans cooler because these transmissions these c6s they do pump in park unlike some vehicles that pump in drive or neutral so when we're sitting about 110 degrees I think yeah, we're running about 110 degrees right now <coughs> with about 70 PSI oil pressure. We're gonna let her eat for a little while. And I've got original rings this motor. I've got just a little bit of excessive pressure right there. It's okay.
try to get you a nice rev in here in just a minute. Hey, Mercy, will you come hold the camera for Daddy? Come here. I'm saying right here. Come here. Daddy's gonna rev the motor, so I'm gonna need you to hold the camera. Now don't touch the glass, okay? Hold it right there. Hold it there. Hold it there. All right, keep it right there. Make sure you can see the car. Like that, you got it? Yeah. All right, don't move it, don't move it. Job, Mercy. What do you think of that? Got her in training. She's an intern. Nobody sent me to child relations or anything. Mercy's working on her cars. Daddy's working on his. 